now we come to the quality management uh, system which is followed in apparel industry now i have also uh, i will also share the notes on quality management system what we are going to discuss now would be pretty much uh, what is followed in uh, apparel manufacturing and uh, the notes that i'll be sharing uh, kind of is uh, for additional reading for a much comprehensive understanding of the quality management system so quality management system in apparel industry uh, this is slide number 21 we are going to slide number 22 quality management system can be considered to have three main component one is quality control second is quality assurance third is quality improvement of course the order is uh, uh, not exactly in this uh, format first we come uh, first we talk about quality assurance then we talk about quality control and third is when we talk about quality improvement we go to the next slide 23 quality management for production so the merchandise is the one point contact for all communication with the customer now if you remember from the previous classes like i said merchandiser is just like an owner of an organization every customer uh, let's say there's an organization um, abc exports and let's say we are talking about a buyer called uh, zara so zara uh, is working with let's say abc exports and there is a merchandiser uh, let's say xyz now this uh, merchandiser xyz has been given the responsibility of handling zara now xyz is the merchandiser and whenever zara has to talk to the export house zara will only be talking to xyz who is the merchandiser so the merchandiser is one point contact for all communication with the customer so if zara has a problem with delivery with quality with approvals with anything the that merchandiser xyz will have to handle the customer now if a, a merchandiser has to uh, address all the issues of the buyer then the merchandiser should also have the capability to handle all these situations which means the merchandiser must understand the quality and production norms if you do not understand quality and production norms you will not be able to address the concerns of the uh, of of zara so well we we'll go to the next slide which is 24 uh the merchandiser is expected to understand in fact uh, most of you would be joining um, um, uh, marketing and retailing but those who would be working with brands or who would uh, be working with apparel manufacturers uh, in that case if you are a merchandiser you will be expected to understand the garment quality which is what we have been talking about you know the garment quality in terms of visual visually uh, you gauge the quality of a garment then in terms of measurement we gauge the quality of the garment and also in terms of the construction the seams and stitches that is one thing that you should be aware of second is the testing quality testing of fabrics of trims and garments and third is the packaging quality now these are two three broad things but otherwise generally speaking you should be knowing about apparel 360 degree in all senses you should be aware of the of the uh, garment quality various aspects of garment quality so we were on to, uh, slide 24 we'll go to slide 25 uh, quality management system in apparel trade the quality management system in case of a pirate trade is a series of interrelated techniques and management systems that helps to prevent defects from occurring uh, time and again or if they occur at all uh, what are the various actions that can be adopted in, immediately so that the defects do not happen again and uh, the, so the quality management system takes recourse to preventive as well as remedial measures so quality management system takes the help of preventive measures as well as remedial measures what we are actually saying is that you know in um, apparel exports or apparel manufacturing there is something called quality assurance now quality assurance means that undertake all such activities so that quality issues don't arise but then because it's an imperfect science in real life as whatever uh, amount of effort that you put into production managing the quality still there will be some problem or the other so in the first place what we try to do is to to make people understand and to have this quality assurance team to understand the situation and create such systems so that defects don't arise but once you start production you will see that some or the other 
thing, big or small, goes wrong. And whenever something goes wrong, there are defects. And when things are going wrong, you will only get to know that things are going wrong when the quality controllers or the quant uh, quality checkers, they are checking the pieces being made. So that's where the quality control people come. And once the quality control people start finding faults, problems are then immediately there has to be action to be taken by the supervisor and the production manager. That action is that what is the problem? Why is that problem happening? Is it because of the person or because of the machinery or some other system or uh, uh, because of some other uh, reason? And then address that issue immediately so that further defects don't come up. So this is the this is very logical and this is the system which is followed in uh, apparel uh, manufacturing trade. So uh, step by step quality management system in the garment industry. Uh, quality management system is a now we, we have come to slide number 26. Quality management system is the number of measures and techniques that are used to produce only good quality goods without having any place for defective goods. So ideally speaking, the kind of system that we make, we try to ensure that we are only making great quality and we are not making such products which are defective. But like I said, it's not possible and some of the other defects would occur. If the defects are occurring at all, immediate corrective action is taken to eliminate these defects in the initial stage and not let it reappear at all. So uh, the philosophy that we are uh, following is that don't let things go wrong. And if things go wrong, immediately correct it and correct it in such a manner that further defects don't arise. That is, uh, you know, uh, that is what a good quality management system does. I will go to the next slide, which is slide number 27. Quality management system in apparel trade. Now in garment industry, uh, quality management system generally employs the following measures and techniques to ensure that only high quality goods are produced. But this one is fairly easy. We have discussed this in numerous times. I believe in a couple of subjects, um, the, uh, the flow chart of how uh, apparel is being manufactured and how is it shipped to the customers. So from right from taking the order till uh, sending the shipment, all the things that we do, we have to, uh, at each step, we have to look at the quality concerns and address them. Uh, and that is what you will see in these 20 steps. Inspect, inspect all the incoming in process and final goods to ensure quality of goods. So when one, once you get the raw material, you have to check the quality. Once you have started with the production, you are halfway in between, then those semi-finished goods also should be checked. And then of course the final goods have to be checked for uh, quality. Second is make sure that all patterns and pattern grading are okay. Uh, this is something which is very important because based on the pattern only all the pieces, all the entire bulk production will be done. So before the patterns are issued to production people for bulk cutting, the patterns have to have to be checked and patterns of all the sizes have to be checked. Third one, check the markers, marker making methods, marker efficiency, if it is okay and within consumption. Of course, marker markers are going to come from the CAD, computer aided uh, design uh, department. And uh, you have to check whether the markers are correct or not. The quantities, size wise quantities are collect, correct or not. And then of course, depending on the type of fabric that you have received, if there are any defects in the fabric, so accordingly the fabric cutting has to be done. So all of that has to be uh, looked into before the markers are given to the cutting department for bulk cutting. I hope you remember marker and marker making methods. Now we've gone to slide number 28. Uh, fourth point, Inspect spreading, cutting, and numbering process in detail. Again, in the cutting processes, we have uh, discussed this. Spreading has to be done uh, correctly. Cutting has to be done correctly. Numbering has to be done correctly so that uh, things don't go wrong in the production department. Ensure the relaxation time that was to be given to knit fabric or any such fabric which has stretch in it. We had discussed this earlier, that if a fabric has stretch, 
please spread it in the evening. Let it relax overnight and only cut it in the morning. So you'll have to ensure that the uh, required relaxation time has been given to the stretch fabrics. Sixth is uh, install inline inspector in the sewing line. This is also what we discussed. If production is happening, do not check the final product only. You should be checking the semi-finished uh, goods also in between so that in case some particular step is not being done correctly, it can be detected early and can be rectified rather than, and let's say there are 20 steps to be followed. Third step is being done incorrectly. If you check it after 20 steps and if you find that you know third step is not being done correctly, all the remaining 17 steps have to be removed, un unstitched, unraveled, do the third one again, correct it, and then start over all over again. So from three onwards, you have to do everything all over again. It does not make sense at all. So there, what we are essentially saying is that at every step, please check the quality. So that is what the inline inspectors do. At on every step, they check whether the uh, whether the operation is being done correctly or not. We go to the seventh point to monitor quality in production line. They install traffic light chart system or other system. The seventh one is very interesting. Uh, traffic light chart system. Now this traffic light light chart system is uh, traffic light is red, green, and amber. So what is done is that in the production floor, the, the operators who are doing a great job, on their machine, on the top of it, you hang a green card, uh, a cardboard kind of uh, thing, green. Now this green means that this operator is doing uh, a great job. Someone who's not doing a great job, but is okay, not a disaster, will we'll have an amber color board hung on top of the machine, which is visible from uh, far. And uh, the one who's not doing good, uh, you know, for every 10 pieces, there are two to, uh, there are more than five defects. I mean, uh, uh, for every 10 pieces, five of them are seen to be defective. So that is a disaster. And such uh, operators from their machines, red color cardboards will be hanging. And no one wants to be seen as a incapable operator. So this traffic light chart system is used so that someone who's doing good, it should be visible for everyone to see that, you know. Uh, I have a green card, the other has an amber card, and the third one is a red card. Red card means you're not doing a great job. So there's a lot of pressure on the person who's got who's got a red card. And that person will have to do things in such a way that uh, majority of the pieces being made by the person is okay. Only then this person is going to get a green card and no one wants to be seen with a red card. It's like a humiliation in front of everyone. So that is something which is used very effectively by the production uh, people on the floor. And we go to the eighth point, which is inspect 100% goods delivered from sewing lines. What we're saying is all the pieces which are made in the production floor, all the pieces have to be checked, have to be inspected. Hello? Yes? yes. Uh, well, sorry, yeah. Sir, as you told, traffic chart system, but it will also demotivate them, and also if the pressure is increased, they, they might quit job and shift the job. That yeah. maybe also have. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So, as you... a current scenario, mostly chances are this, ki these things are mostly happened if no one wants to see no one wants them to be seen as you know uh, someone who is not doing a great job in an industry and the red card is hanged so is it successful why we use this in an industry see this is something it's a it's a it's a very valid question and this is one of the systems which can be used now the point is that in your organization you will have to see whether this system will be effective or not, whether it will uh, produce good result or counterproductive results. And when you are talking about the, this system, this system can be used for uh, senior managers, can be used for managers, can be used for junior managers, or can be used for these people on the production floor. 
now uh, on the face of it we understand that you know if you do it for senior manager it will be very humiliating and you know at that level people may simply quit job that you know you you can't be you know insulting in front of everyone by you know putting exactly. up a red color uh, cardboard in front of my cabin so so when you're doing it you will have to see whether this thing can be used in your organization or not because every organization is unique in itself uh, you know the kind of philosophy that it goes by and thing like that jaisa mahol hai so uske hisab se you are the uh, person who will have to you know who will be in the position to decide ki hamare yahan pe wala traffic light system kar sakte hain that is one number two is ki kis segment mein kar sakte hain so can this be done for the operators or can it be done for the supervisors or can it be done for the production manager sir or uh, sir so may i say something also yes, this yes. might happen ki jo bhi red cards wale hain ya green cards wale hain wo log aapas mein mingle bhi nahi ho paaye to there is a chances of less improvement absolutely Malab- so hmm, so 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 what i'm saying is that jo red green blue jo karte hain red green uh, red uh, green and amber it is uh, symbolic of you know the your capability and when you are doing it with uh, amongst the let's say the operators so let's say i am a new production manager a new quality manager and i am doing it and i am planning to do it for uh, this new factory that i have joined and i don't know how people are going to react to this so first i'm going to explain it to my to the owner of uh, this uh, 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 organization and after that maybe uh, when we have this uh, meeting the owner says that you know why don't you do it for one of the lines so we have 10 lines so uh, why don't you do it for one of the lines which is let's say secluded is working in you know one small factory so do it over there and let's see the result so if you get great results then you would want to do it for other lines also and uh, when you are doing it then you will have to gauge at a very minute level that you know how is it uh, what are, what kind of reactions are you getting from the people so you do it for one and you may get reaction from line number 2 and 3 etc that you know why is it being done so uh, when when we say that you know this system can be used it's a great system it is just a system on paper when you are actually implementing it then your true capability as a production manager or the, or as a quality manager that capability will be required because here you will have to see the systems and how is that system react or how are the people reacting with this system so if there is any system which your people don't like then that system is not good so also it has to be traditional approach to use this in production or anywhere in the industry it traditional approach hogi sir ye use karne ke liye absolutely absolutely there is also uh, there is a unit production system where um, uh, you know you have this overhead uh, railing conveyor system and mm-hmm. you know the one piece is given to one person and uh, one by one so so one per- piece is given to one person the person has to immediately complete it and release it back and that same piece then goes to the next person for the next operation so any person who is working slowly uske upar mein red color ka batti jalta rahe now what happens that everyone sees ki kiska lal batti jala तो जिसका जलता है उसके ऊपर हमेशा प्रेशर रहता है और सुपरवाइजर की जरूरत ही नहीं होती क्योंकि कोई नहीं चाहता कि भाई रेड वाला अब जल भी गया तो भाई फटाफट खत्म करो ताकि मेरे मेरे वाले रिकॉर्ड में एंड ऑल इज ऑल दिस इज कंप्यूटराइज सो कंप्यूटर में सारा वो फीड होता रहता है कि वर्कर नंबर टेन का दिन भर में कितनी बार रेड लाइट जला और कितने सेकेंड के लिए जला तो सभी का कभी ना कभी तो रेड होता ही है बट कितनी देर के जला तो दिन भर में किसके किसके कैटेगरी किसके उसमें हिस्से में कितना बार रेड हुआ और कितने सेकंड्स के लिए दैट विल और इससे सभी लोगों को सो एज अ टीम पीपल स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट यू कि भाई ये इतना धीरे काम कर रही है बार बार ये रेड होता रहता है अब इसके वजह से दिन भर का जो प्रोडक्शन है वो कम हो जाए तो देखो सबको पैसे भी कम मिलेंगे सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वन सच टेक्निक विच हैज बीन यूज एंड इट इज लाइक स्टेट ऑफ दर्ट एंड ऑल्सो इज देर इन निफ्ट मुंबई उसमें प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट में ये लगा हुआ है एंड इसमें यू डोंट हैव टू यू नो स्कोल्ड पीपल 
you don't have to do anything. You don't even have to stand over there to supervise and you know keep uh, scolding people कि धीरे क्यों कर रहे हो कुछ वो लाल बत्ते जलते रहती है और कोई डांटने वाले नहीं लेकिन आप ही को अजीब सा लगा यार बाद में बाद में तो लाल जल रहा है मुझे थोड़ा सा स्पीड से काम करना पड़े एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आई एल बी सीन एज द विलन कि बिकॉज आई एम वर्किंग स्लोली तो सबका जो कमाई है वो कम हो रहा है क्योंकि मेरे वजह से स्लो हो जा रहा है अगर एक इंसान जो है वो स्लो काम कर रहा है तो हम कोशिश पहला कोशिश ये होना चाहिए की उसको हम हम ये समझे की स्लो क्यूँ कर रहे हैं मतलब खुद ही से काम स्लो कर रहे हैं या उसके मशीन में कोई प्रॉब्लम है या कोई और रीजन है अगर ये समझ में आता है कि बंदा ही स्लो है तो उसको हम मोटिवेट करने की कोशिश करेंगे अब वो बंदा जो है वो मोटिवेट होता ही नहीं है तो आप क्या करोगे और देर आर लॉट ऑफ फैक्ट्री जहाँ पे इतना पूछते नहीं तुरंत निकाल देते दूसरा बंदा रख लेते तो जब तक सही चल रहा चल रहा है लेकिन जहां पर आपको फिर लेबर लेबर पूल बहुत छोटा हो गया लेबर मुश्किल से मिल रहा है वहां पर तो आप ऐसे नहीं निकाल सकते फिर फिर तो वो चॉइस नहीं रह जाएगा वो लग्जरी नहीं रहे पता चले एक दिन वो निकाला अब उसका दूसरा बंदा ही नहीं मिल रहा अब उस केस में आप फिर देन व्हाट यू डू इज दैट कि भैया जो जैसा रहने दो उसको जितना मोटिवेट कर करो लेकिन उसी से काम करोगे आप दूसरा बंदा कहां से लाएंगे सो अगेन यू नो व्हेन यू आर आस्किंग दीज क्वेश्चंस दीज आर वेरी वैलिड क्वेश्चंस और बड़े प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन हैं ये और मतलब मीनिंग टू से कि जो मैंने पढ़ा दिया उसी को पढ़ के आप इंडस्ट्री नहीं चला पाओगे उसके अलावा आप वो अपने जो मेंटल कैपेबिलिटीज है और एंड यू नो हाउ वेल यू अंडरस्टैंड पीपल उस पे डिपेंड करेगा कि कोई भी सिस्टम आप कितना इफेक्टिवली उसको यूज कर पा रहे अदरवाइज मेथड्स बहुत सारे हैं सी इफ यू नो द मेथड्स यू आर इन अ बेटर पोजीशन कि चलो ये वाले मेथड्स होते जरा इनमें से एक्सपेरिमेंट करके देखते हैं कि कौन सा वाला मेथड सबसे बढ़िया रिजल्ट हमारे यहाँ देता है लेकिन अगर हमने थियरी नहीं पढ़ा हो तो हमें तो मैथड्स ही नहीं पता तो पता चला अब हम अपने दिमाग से अभी नए नए एक्सपेरिमेंट करना शुरू कर दैट इज टू सो द एडवांटेज ऑफ यू नो डूंग एन एम एफ एम और बी एफ टैक्स is that you will be aware of most of the prevalent and successful methods which have been used in the industry by various uh, factories but having right. said that no one would would say that you know ki ye wala system uh, itne jagah majority of jagah pe successful hai to aap koi bhi nayi factory mein bhi isko lao to successful hi ho aisa nahi wahan pe aapko apna pura capability to lagana padega सर वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन अगर जैसे सर अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल द मेथड्स अभी कौन से मतलब कौन सा सिस्टम ज्यादा सक्सेसफुल है वैसे मोस्टली यूज करती है जो इंडस्ट्री या मैनेजमेंट देयर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ मल्टीपल मेथड्स कुछ तो ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स है जैसे आप पीस रेट सिस्टम में लोगों को रखोगे तो उसमें है कि भाई आप जितने पीस बनाओ उससे आप ज्यादा पैसे मिलेंगे आप तो सैलरी पे नहीं रखा है पर पीस के हिसाब से रखा है उस केस में होता क्या है लोग सुबह जब मर रहे हैं और शाम को जब मर जाए आपको तो पैसे उतने मिले जितने पीसे बना के दोगे इन दिस सिचुएशन पीपल कम ऑन टाइम मे बी इवन बिफोर टाइम फुल स्पीड में अपना काम करें क्योंकि तो उनको कमाना है तो पीस रेट है बट पीस रेट वाले को ये बता देना होता है क्लियर टर्म्स में कि बेटा जो तुम काम कर रहे हो उसका जो क्वालिटी एक्सेप्टेबल क्वालिटी लेवल है वो ये है इसको जितने पीसेस क्लियर कर लेंगे उतने के पैसे मिले बाकी तुम खुद अपने स्पेयर टाइम में ठीक करोगे और उसके आपको तभी पैसे मिले जब आप उसको रिपेयर कर दो या रिपेयर नहीं करेक्ट करके दोगे दिस इज वन दर सिस्टम इज वेरी की पीपल ऑन सैलरी क्या आप कम बनाओ ज्यादा बनाओ सैलरी तो उतनी मिलनी नहीं मिलनी तो उसके इसमें आमतौर पे देखा है कि लोग जो है वो उतना स्पीड से नहीं काम करते क्योंकि सैलरी तो मिलनी है उतनी मिलनी ज्यादा बनाए कम बनाए नाव नॉर्मली वट आई सीन इज दैट इफ यू हैव लेट से फाइव हंड्रेड पीपल वर्किंग इन द फैक्ट्री फाइव हंड्रेड ऑपरेटर्स तो 500 में करीब 100 से 150 लोग हम रखते हैं जो सैलरी वाले होते हैं और साढ़े तीन सौ जो ठेकेदार से लेते पीस रेट बेसिस ना व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज इन दिस कॉम्बिनेशन इज दैट 150 पीपल आर सैलरी एंड सैलरीड पीपल मतलब नॉर्मली अनफॉर्चुनेटली इंडिया में सैलरीड पोजीशन बहुत कम होता है और पीस रेट वाला ही ज्यादा होते हैं और जब मर्जी किसी को निकाल दिए सैलरी वाले को आप ऐसे नहीं निकाल सकते so oh, hmm. when you are keeping 150 people on salary what happens is that the salaried people wo to kabhi nahi chhod ke jayenge kyunki salary pe job milti nahi hai is level pe 
आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो पीपल लाइक यू कि आपको बड़े आराम से मर्चेंडाइजिंग इसका उसका मिल गया तो हमारे लेवल पे तो सारे सैलरीड और बढ़िया जॉब्स होते हैं विद यू नो अपॉइंटमेंट लेटर उनके लेवल पे सैलरीड जॉब तो बहुत मुश्किल होती तो सैलरीड वाला छोड़ के जाएगा नहीं तो डेढ़ सौ लोग ऐसे आपके पास हैं जो कि कहीं नहीं जाने वाले और पुराने लोग हैं आपको जाने में अच्छे से आपकी गालियां भी सुनेंगे तब भी कहीं जाएंगे और, और बाकी साढ़े तीन सौ का तो पता नहीं है कि अगले सीजन में ये साढ़े तीन सौ होंगे कि कौन से साढ़े तीन सौ होंगे दे कीप ऑन चेंजिंग सो वे इन द लीन सीजन वेन यू हैव टू फायर पीपल तो वो साढ़े तीन सौ आप ऐसे हटा दोगे कॉन्ट्रेक्टर बोल दो कल से भेजने की जरूरत नहीं कॉन्ट्रेक्टर को तो ठीक है नहीं भेजेंगे तो वो लेबर लॉ के टर्म्स में जिनको आपने पीस रेट बेसिस रखा है उनको आप कभी भी फायर कर सकते और सैलरी वाले को फायर नहीं कर सकते बट कुछ एक सर्टेन परसेंटेज ऑफ लोग तो चाहिए जो कि हमेशा से आपकी कंपनी में ही रहेंगे इसलिए वो डेढ़ सौ सैलरीड वाले रखते हैं और वो सैलरीड वाले वाकई बढ़िया होते हैं तो केपेबिलिटीज बढ़िया होते हैं हाथ साफ होता है और डिफिकल्ट ऑपरेशन सारे उनको दिए जाते हैं और ये जो साढ़े तीन सौ जो हम लेते हैं वो उनको इजी वाले देते हैं जो कि फुल स्पीड में करना है उसमें क्वालिटी का बहुत बड़ा इशू होता है अगर एक हाँ हाँ एक जना अगर नहीं आया तो दूसरा मिल जाएगा क्योंकि काम ही सिंपल सिंपल काम करने वाले बहुत सारे मिल जाते हैं कॉम्प्लेक्स काम करने वाले ढूंढने पड़ जाते हैं फिर वो बड़ा मशक्कत करना पड़ जाए वैसे लोग मिलते नहीं तो ये तो सिर्फ एक सिस्टम है उसके अलावा ऐसे बहुत सारे सिस्टम है जिसमें आप जो है वो ऑपरेटर्स को मोटिवेट कर सकते हो और आपस में कंपटीशन करा सकते हो अ हेल्दी कंपटीशन सो दैट पीपल ट्राई टू डू थिंग्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड डू थिंग्स एज पर द फिलोसफी ऑफ द कंपनी स्पीड से भी करेंगे और एक्यूरेटली भी करेंगे स्पीड से करा और पीसेस खराब हो उसको तो वो फायदा फिर वापस जा फिर उसको ठीक करो सो यू मे कीप सच पीपल यू मे ऑल्सो एम्प्लॉय द स्ट्रेटेजी ऑफ जो सैलरीड वाले हैं उनके लिए भी बोनस आपने रख दिया कि सैलरीड के टर्म्स में हर रोज सौ पीस बनाना है तो आपको सैलरी मिल रही है कम बनाओगे तो भी कोई दिक्कत नहीं लेकिन अगर सौ से ऊपर जितने पीसेस बनाओगे उस पर आपको अलग से इंसेंटिव मिलेगा तो सैलरीड वाला जो ढीला पड़ा रहता है कि यार कम बनाओ ज्यादा बनाओ बात तो बराबर ही है तो आपने एक बेंच मार्क कर दिया कि हंड्रेड पीसेज हम एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं आपसे ऑन ए डेली बेसिस आप नाइन्टी बनाओगे तो भी हम उतनी सैलरी देंगे हंड्रेड भी उतने देंगे लेकिन अगर हंड्रेड टेन बनाए तो दस जो एक्स्ट्रा बने उसका अलग से आपको पैसा मिले तो हर इंसान जो है मिनिमम हंड्रेड तो पहले करेगा ही क्योंकि हंड्रेड के ऊपर ही उसको एक्स्ट्रा पैसा मिलना है उसके ऊपर फिर वो वो करेगा तो सैलरी वाले के ऊपर भी एक पॉजिटिव प्रेशर बन गया एंड हंड्रेड के ऊपर जितने पीस वो बना दे वो कितना ही इंसेंटिव ले लेगा दस पंद्रह ही पीस तो एक्स्ट्रा बना देगा सौ का दो तो बना नहीं देगा वैसे भी आप हंड्रेड तो वो वो चीज तो ऐसे बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जो करते हैं एंड अगेन विद अ पिंच ऑफ सॉल्ट कि कट कॉपी पेस्ट से नहीं हो सकता आप पेस्ट करो लेकिन फिर देखो कि कितना बढ़िया से इट इज बीइंग यू नो जेलिंग विद द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विद द फिलोसफी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके गुड सो दिस वाज स्लाइड ट्वेंटी एट एंड विल गो टू स्लाइड ट्वेंटी अगेन इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद दिस ट्रैफिक लाइट सिस्टम एंड देन 100 परसेंट अच्छा एक सवाल है जो 100 परसेंट गुड्स हैव टू बी इंस्पेक्टेड नाउ व्हेन द इंस्पेक्टर्स कम फ्रॉम आउटसाइड यू नो द हु आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग योर बायर दे विल नेवर डू 100 परसेंट इंस्पेक्शन दे विल जस्ट डू 5 टू 7 परसेंट बट विद इन योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एवरी पीस हैज टू बी चेक हंड्रेड परसेंट बिफोर यू आर ऑफरिंग योर शिपमेंट फॉर इंस्पेक्शन टू द एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटर तो विद इन द फैक्ट्री तो 100 परसेंट आपको इंस्पेक्शन करना ही करना विल गो टू द नाइन्थ पॉइंट विच इज ऑन स्लाइड नंबर 29। इंस्पेक्ट द क्वालिटी इंस्पेक्शन टेबल फॉर इन लाइन पास गार्मेंट्स विद स्टैटिस्टिकल टेक्निक्स ये स्टैटिस्टिकल टेक्निक्स इसके बाद वाले में हम uh, इसके बाद एज इन इन द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन विल डू वट यूर सेंग हेयर इज द क्वालिटी इंस्पेक्शन टेबल फॉर इन लाइन पास गार्मेंट्स लेट्स देर आर ट्वेंटी मशीन and uh, 20 machines are there and 20 operations are there so there uh, some people some uh, quality checkers are employed to check the operations on each machine so what this person does is right from the morning pehle machine se shuru karega aur pehle machine pe jitne pehle operator ne jitne pieces banaye usme se do teen pieces wo check kare 
फिर सेकंड वाला मशीन पे जाया उसने उसमें उसने सेकंड वाले ने जो ऑपरेशन किया उसके दो तीन पीस चेक करे ऐसे करके वो सबका चेक करते जाएगा दो दो तीन तीन या पांच 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 वट एवर है तो सबका वो चेक करता रहेगा इट इज अ रूल इसको ये तो करने ही करना So inspect the quality inspection table for inline passed garments with statistical technique. Now here ninth वाले में हम ये बोल रहे हैं that this person who is checking this बीच बीच में जो check करता रहता है उसने जो check किया उसके ऊपर एक और बंदा जो उसको check करेगा randomly just to see कि ये जो inline checker है वो सही से check कर रहा है कि नहीं the person who is checking उसके भरोसे नहीं छोड़ दिया जो check करता है उसके ऊपर भी एक checker जो रैंडमली चेक करके देखेगा कि जो चेकर है वो ठीक से काम कर रहा है तो जो बना रहा है उसको चेक करने के लिए एक बंदा रखा है और जो चेक कर उसके ऊपर भी एक बंदा रखा है उसके चेकिंग क्वालिटी को चेक करने के लिए नाइन्थ वनटी पास गार्मेंट ना टेंथ वन इज द मोस्ट हॉरिबल थिंग टू हैपन सी इफ इफ अमेंट हैज बिन रिजेक्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ अ स्पॉट और मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ स्टिचिंग रॉन्ग स्टिचिंग क्वालिटी वट एवर इट इज नॉट विजिबल टू द नेकेड आई तो रिजेक्टेड पीसेस गलती से भी करेक्ट पीसेस में मिक्स नहीं होने सो यू हैव दो सिस्टम द मोमेंट यू रिजेक्ट अ पीस यू पुट अ रेड स्टिकर ऑन सो दैट गलती से भी रेड स्टिकर वाले जो गार्मेंट्स हैं वो करेक्ट गार्मेंट्स के साथ में मिक्स नहीं हो और मे बी यू हैव अ कार्टन विद अ रेड स्टिकर ऑन दैट एनी पीस विच हैज बीन रिजेक्टेड प्लीज पुट इन साइड दिस कार्टन एंड दैट कार्टन विल बी टेकन बैक टू द लाइन जिस पोजीशन पे जो जो रॉन्ग हुआ उसको ठीक करो सो द सुपरवाइजर विल टेक द कार्टन ऑल द रिजेक्ट पीस एंड गेट व्हाटएवर करेक्शंस हैव टू बी डन 11th पॉइंट यू हैव टू कंट्रोल द रिपेयरेबल गुड्स वॉशेबल गुड्स सो दैट दे कैन बी डबल चेक टू इंश्योर क्वालिटी कोई भी सो सो देयर कैन बी रिपेयर्स टू बी डन देयर कैन बी गुड्स व्हिच नीड टू बी वॉश्ड सो इन बोथ द केसेस व्हेन the repairing has been done or if the goods have been washed when it comes back please check it again so double check it to ensure quality what happens is that suppose we have 50 pieces for washing ki ye 50 piece mein kahin kahin thode bahut daag dabbe hain isko bhai isko theek kara de 50 piece ko the chances are very high the person goes and brings back brings it back and says ha sir wash kar diya ya ha sir isko repair kara diya to tumne bol diya ki repair kara de kaise maan lenge So therefore, it has to be checked. Who wants to repair? No operator wants to do it again because his extra money is not enough, and no operator wants to accept that he has made a wrong piece. So the chances are that when you send it back for repairing, it again comes back like that. So whenever you send it for washing or repairing, please check it again to see whether it, the, actually the corrections have been done or not. Okay, we go to the twelfth one. Check the garment with right machine tools and equipments and in right conditions. So what we are saying over here is that the checking of the garment has been has to be done using the correct machine and tools and equipments and that too in the right condition. Right condition meaning to say, let's say you want you are going to check the whether the garment has any stains or not. So the the correct environment is the right correct uh, condition is that you have to you know, lay the garment on a flat on a big table. and then there has to be adequate amount of light so like a tube light or a cfl overhead adequate amount of light so that you can actually see whether there are any stains or any kind of problem with the garment or not so the equipments and the tools and the machines have to be given so that the checking of the garment can be done in the perfect way uh next slide 30 13th point 13 inspect the right ironing or pressing folding techniques 14th make repeat inspection of garments prior to poly bag the 14th one before you fold the garment and put it inside the poly bag it is advisable ek bar fir se ek sarsari nazar pure garment pe dal dijiye because once you put it inside the poly bag uske baad wo reverse nahi to isliye last time ek bar hi fir se dekh lena chahiye that's 14th one 15th is inspect poly bagging and assortment meaning to say that you know when the garments are being put inside the poly bag and then assortments are being made please check whether it is being correctly done or not so what we are saying poly bagging is let's say every poly bag has um, on 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 the top of the poly bag you have a sticker let's say s m l whatever which say that you know it's a small piece or a medium or a large so if a, a poly bag has a sticker of s small 
then only the small piece has to be put inside that poly bag, not the other way around. And normally, what is done is once you put the garment inside the poly bag, you know that you know you have put a small uh, piece inside it. So then you peel out the small side, small size uh, round sticker and put it on the poly bag. And accordingly, you do the uh, packing. So while this process is being done, there has to be one inspector who will see that the correct poly bagging is done and the assortment is done. What is assortment? Assortment is it can be small, medium, large, or it could be red, green, blue, whatever. Assortment is the combination of the pieces, the way they have to be packed. So if uh, someone like uh, an Amazon or a Mintra says that, you know, there's an order from Mintra that uh, make these, you know, plain t-shirts, red, green, blue, and in small, medium, large. And we are going to have a campaign in which you can buy three t-shirts for 200 rupees. So, if, so people, whenever they buy this particular uh, pack, they will buy three t-shirts, set of three t-shirts each time. And because it is a particular ad campaign that they have. So, Mintara will tell you that make uh, pieces in red, green, uh, blue, and make it in small, medium, large. And when you're packing it, please pack one piece of red, one piece of blue and red, one piece of green of small size. So similarly, all red, blue, green in large, red, blue, green in medium. So whatever packets you make, each packet will have three pieces. And all those three pieces will be of the same size, but these three colors. So that is one example of an assortment. There can be millions of type of assortment that buyer may ask, depending on the situation. So that assortment also has to be seen that it is being done as per the requirement of the uh, customer or the client. The 15 point, 16 point is make sure the actual measurements of carton and complete packaging process according to the buyer requirements. So sometimes the buyer says for one particular shipment, you have to follow only one size of cartons. So if that is the case, then only one size cartons will have to be used. Out of 50 cartons, there are 10 cartons which are small size or bigger size or something like that. So that is something that you have to check. Now, for some buyers, whatever size of carton you send does not matter. So the people who are there in the packing department, they may feel that they may not know or they may not have been informed that you know, we are working with Zara. And in case of Zara, packing has to be done according to these guidelines. So, so the senior management or the senior person in the packaging department, it is that person's responsibility to make these rules known to the people who are packing. But even after sharing the rules, you also have to keep an eye on this packaging process, whether it is being done according to the buyer's guidelines. That's slide 30, we go to slide 31, which is a quality management system in a parallel trade. Uh, manufacturer uh, conducts final inspection prior to shipment of garment. Now, 17th one is uh, entire packing has been done and final inspection uh, will be done prior to the shipment of garment. Now, let's say my customer is Paridhi. Paridhi has given me the order. I have made the shipment. Now, Paridhi says, sir, before sending the shipment, please check the entire uh, shipment. So I say, fine, I'll do that. So I do 100% inspection and only then I send the shipment. But that is the case where I am in India and Paridhi is also in India and we are talking about domestic business. But let's say if I am making a shipment for Zara, then the Zara says that please do the 100% shipment uh, inspection, but keep the shipment over there only because I am going to send my representative to do the random inspection. And once the random inspection has been done, only then I will allow you to send the shipment. If the, the person who I am sending has okayed the shipment, that yes, I have checked the shipment, it's absolutely okay, it can be shipped. So in that case, I am going to check 100%, but then there's another person who's going to come and randomly check the shipment. And once it is okay, only then I can send the shipment to Zara, to Spain, whatever. So that's the 17th one, the two aspects. So one is just do inspection and send, or the second is 
to do the inspection then call the other person that uh, external uh, agency to do the inspection and when you get the okay then you send it across that's 17 we go to the 18th point which is employ now this one is important 18th one employ trained quality assurance personnel so that they can easily identify defects and understand the causes of defects now these quality assurance uh, managers qa managers these are very these are well trained and these are very um, uh, these are very educated person educated in the sense they have formal education of quality assurance quality checkers are like you know you just pick up people randomly and then you teach them quality checking and then they start they become quality checkers and shuru mein minor check checking karte baad mein fir major karne lag jate hain but these are these people are not such people who have formal training in quality checking so quality assurance people they should be trained so that they can identify defects but more than that they can they have the capability to find out investigate and find out the causes of defects the random person who you have trained a little and you have made the person a quality checker this quality checker can only check the defects will not be able to investigate the reason for defect so that's why uh, the higher responsibility lies with uh, lies with uh, the quality assurance people that's point 18 point 19 is arrange training for quality assurance personnel on statistical methods now everyone may not be aware of the statistical methods so therefore uh, as a company i should ask simply ask all the quality assurance people that are you aware of these statistical methods if they say no then give them the training if they if they say yes give them a test let them appear in the test you will know whether they they understand statistical methods or not simple and uh, so this st statistical methods is what we are going to do in the next uh, uh, section of this uh, session and 20th is the easiest line but the most difficult to do which is make continuous improvement plans and implement them normally human beings are not as professionals we are not in the habit of making or striving continuously to improve ourselves at a point of time we saturate and then we look at things as if they are perfect and we also start looking at ourselves as perfect human beings and we stop making changes to our own self and we do not continue to improve ourselves so this is more of an exercise it does not happen naturally and so 20th is make continuous improvement plans and implement them that's slide number 31 and 32 is the sampling techniques 